Hi guys, and uh, welcome to the third episode of uh, my badminton mini series. Um, today's episode is going to be on the top five um, badminton websites that I use. They're not necessarily the top five, um, but they are the websites that I use the most um, to find out uh, um, where the tournaments are, um, enter tournaments, shopping, and just general badminton related stuff. Okay, so without further ado, let's have a look. So the first website is the um, BWF World Tour website. Um, this website allows you to look at the badminton calendar. Um, so you can see what is happening, um, when the tournaments are coming up. Um, so let's go to, we're now in August. The next tournament coming up is um, the Barcelona Spain Masters. And let's look at the next, and after that would be the Japan Open and so on. China Opens is a big tournament because the prize money is $1 million. When you click on the tournament, this is, it shows you the date. Um, it gives you a bit of history on, um, the, tournament, on the tournament so you can actually see um, where it is, who won it last. So you can see that uh, last year in the China Open, uh, Chen Long won uh, men's singles and men's doubles was won by um, Marcus and Kevin and so on. Um, you can also, when the tournament is running, you can actually go to live and you'll be able to see the scores are updated um, live point by point. Um, there are other websites that do do this, but I generally do use this website um, as I find it the quickest in updating and keeping you up to date point by point. So you can see here for the Spain Masters in the first round of the men's singles who will be playing who um, in yeah in round one it goes to round two quarters semis finals and then if you just click up here you'll also be able to see all the different events and you'll also be able to go through the days so until you get to the second which is the final um, they normally recently this in the evening. Okay, so that was the BWF website. Right, so the second website, um, most probably my favourite website, actually is um, Badminton World TV. Now, this is a YouTube channel um, run with the BWF, which sh promotes and shows all the badminton um, tournaments live. It doesn't do all of them, and it doesn't do throughout the week, but uh, the whole week of the tournament, but it does do the majority of, of the tournaments. At the moment, there are no up and coming tournaments. So normally when there is, you would be able to see up here, we'll give you the date, the, um, the dates and the times the matches start obviously in different countries. It normally for us in England, it would say GMT and it would say um, when it would start. But you can see here all the um, recent, so this is the um, World Championships that just finished. And they have all the matches here. They go, what's really good is they also do, they do a five summary, a five minute summary um, of or highlights of the match, and they also do the full match. Um, they all it all has commentary throughout um, English commentary, um, which you can also get subtitles um, in different languages if required. Um, before you wasn't able to actually see this in the UK. I know overseas that you was actually able to watch these episodes. Um, without any problem but now it seems that's changed and this year everyone has been able to watch the episode so if you're not able to watch it live um, you would be able to watch it later. I do really like this website and I think it's really important that they do get a, a lot of people do watch the episodes um, or watch the if they're not watching it live they're watching back the episodes just to keep it free and, and, and promote badminton basically. Um, if there's not that many people watching it then I don't think they will um, continue to um, stream it. Um, yeah. Um, they also do a um, Badminton Unlimited episode. So this is a weekly summary of everything that happened in the Badminton world the week previous. Um, it goes through training. Um, you'll be able to see, um, they do like the last tournament results. Um, a uh, little bit of insight with the players, how the players train each week. Sometimes some of the episodes have training with each um, with particular players, so um, or where they came from, and it's just really a good summary of. It's like a thirty-minute episode. These little 
um, episodes that you have here are part of this one big episode. So if you didn't want to, if you wanted to watch the whole half an hour, you could watch the, the episode. Um, otherwise, you could just watch these little videos and things that you was interested. Say, for instance, the, the, the Yonex Shuttles. There's a little video here about the Yonex Shuttles. One of the Danish players are actually pregnant, um, so they've done an interview with her, and so on. Okay. Um, right. So um, the next website is Badminton Central. Now, this one I haven't used as much as I most probably should, and I think that's because I've been in the UK and I've been able to find out all the information that I needed. Um, but this website is generally quite good for um, badminton enthusiasts. It's good, a good um, website to meet and talk to other badminton players about generally badminton stuff. So, if you, as you can see here, we're on the website, and something that I think is quite good that this website is quite good for is this we want to find to play um, badminton in different um, clubs and events or, but not just in not uh, sorry that um, different clubs and events overseas so say for instance I'm going to Vietnam tomorrow so if I was interested in playing there I'd be able to click on here Vietnam and then I'd be able to see um, different sort of people who've asked is there clubs to play around so uh, play around in the city so you can see there's quite a lot of um, views and replies some of this stuff is quite dated but when you do go this is this, this the date that's given here is when it was started so um say if it's i'm going to ho chi Minh, and i was to click here you can see the guy here who's posted the video of when he's going to ho chi Minh, and then you can see the different responses here so um like this guy, he's got a response, a really good response actually. So there's a club there, the playing in District 7. Here's the guy's email, contact him or contact him via Skype. Which is really good because say for instance, you do want to play, you're only there, I'm going to Vietnam for three weeks. Uh, and I may want to just play once or twice, just to experience playing badminton in a different country, um, see the level of how it is. And this is a really good way of getting into contact with people who are out there. Um, before you go so you know whether to bring your stuff or not um, it does do you can actually see um, other badminton related stuff so like as you saw at the start here ooh, what happened to the website there um, it had the badminton um, website sorry wait one second let's go to oh Okay, well, it looks like the website just had an update while I was on it. But you can find out general um, information, yeah, in regards to badminton. And just meet generally other people who are really passionate about playing badminton. Um, I noticed there were other threads on here for guys who were actually looking to um, play... Um, sorry, they were actually looking to find other people to play with. Um, within their country, so not just clubs, just if they want to play singles. Um, you can see here they have injuries, so people who've had similar badminton injuries, and then you can get advice from other badminton players who've had the same injury, and perhaps some people had recovered from the injury, and some people just recently got the injury. Um, coaching, um, rules and regulations, sometimes um, you're not clear on the rules and regulations. Um, and just general badminton information in a forum sense. So speaking to other badminton people, getting different opinions. Um, shuttlecocks, which is something that I'm sure everyone has their preference. But um, yeah. Okay. So um, next website will be um, tournament software. Now this is similar to if you watch one of my previous episodes um, link below um, the B Badminton England tournament software but this is a um, sort of worldwide software um, that allows you to enter international tournaments um, um, and you can check live scores for all the different sports so as you can see here they have a number of sports um, we selected badminton and you can see this week these are all the badminton tournaments that are happening um, the Bulgarian, I've got a few friends who are actually playing that. Um, and it gives you the score when you click on it, you can see the scores, um, who's entered, who the contact is. So if you was looking to enter, um, who the contact is, then you can go to events and see the different, the different draws. So say, so let's go to men's doubles. Here you can see the qualifiers, but let's go to the last 32. And then what you'll see here 
is throughout the day. These are different days. Um, who in round one, you can see the scores here. So we say there was a easy game, and so on, going all the way um, through round two, quarters, semis, and finals, and the winners. Here, good final. Um, you're also able to enter tournaments through this website. So let's go back to the homepage. Um, and if you click on up and coming, hopefully there is an online entry. So you can see here online entry um, for a Russian tournament here. And then it says the entry still open. So you'll be able to click. Um, once you've collected your password, you'll be able to log in and enter the tournament. Um, yeah, that's really it. It has leagues, tournaments, um, players. You're also able to see the player ranking um, and the live score, which is constantly updated, like the BWF. But um, I think there's actually an app for this one as well. Okay, so let's go to the final um, website, which is more of a it's a shopping website. Um, Direct Badminton. Um, it's it's. I like the website. I'm not saying it's the best or the cheapest. It's not an endorsement for them, but it's a website that I use generally if I'm looking to get a base price or find um, find badminton equipment. Um, I do say shop around, so have at least three, four websites that you do check out. Um, but this website here, I found, has the biggest um, selection of equipment. So if you say, say for instance, here we're in shuttles. Um, they have a lot of brands at quite good prices. So the Yonex 30s are, are nine, starting from 1999 up to 2050, which for um, Yonex 30 is, is pretty good because the shop around here in Queen's Park actually sells Yonex 30s for uh, 1999, sorry, Yonex 20s for that price. I think the Yonex 30s are either 24 or 25. Um, so let's go back to their homepage. Um, you can select what you're looking for um, and then it will give you um, a nice array. The rackets I think are normal, normal prices I would say um, but there is a lot of a lot of equipment here so there's five pages of um, of equipment to see here up to 75 um, items per page. And there's still what, four pages when you click on 75. So it's a lot of items that they do have. Another really good thing that I um, think for everyone is that you're actually able to select what currency you pay in. So you can pay in the pound, um, US dollar, you can see $139, um, and also the euro. Um, it, the shipping internationally does depend on the size of the item so when you do place it and you do um, place the order and you do um, click on it it will let you know what the cost is and what the estimated delivery is but generally I find that there's a lot of badminton websites out here but this one is the cleanest I've found in terms of just showing you everything really really clearly and uh, the widest selection of um, badminton products I'm not saying it's necessarily the best but I found that in terms of just looking and giving you a base, a basic idea of um, what they, what is out there, um, it's a really good site. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Right. So that was my top five websites. I hope that was helpful. Um, they will all be linked down below. Um, please subscribe and share the video. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode.